Hey, how's it going? It's Everett here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up different profiles on Chrome. So basically what this is useful for is if you have multiple Google accounts or say two different people, for example, two siblings that have to use the same computer, uh, but they do have different Google accounts to log in and see their different stuff or get into their uh, Google classrooms or whatever. So a lot of the time what people will do is they'll try to go into their uh, Google Apps and they'll use the little profile button up in the corner here to switch users. And so that can work sometimes, but it can become really painful when you have two people that have access to different classrooms or different files in Google Drive. And a great way to avoid having to uh, deal with that is to create different Chrome profiles instead. So what you wanna do is go up here and uh, click this little circle button here. You wanna add a Chrome profile call it, I don't know, let's call it profile one. You call this your name or your child's name. You can pick an icon if you want, but you don't have to. So we'll add that. And now what you wanna do is you wanna sign in with your Google account. So click sign in. Then we're gonna enter the username in here or the email. So this one is, uh, as you can see, it's a G Apps user for York Region District School Board. So now we're gonna have our wired ESB login. And now what we have is a profile here that's linked to this Google account. So now, let's say this is sibling A, and we want sibling B. So I'm gonna call it profile two. And we'll add profile two. Now what we can do is we can sign in as a different Google account. So I'm going to use a different email this time. All right, and now that we've logged in to this second Chrome profile using our other Google account, we can now use the Chrome profiles to choose which Google account we want to access, say, Google Drive or Google Classroom with. So for example, if I have a Google Classroom that's for student Y, then I would use Chrome profile number two, as I called it. But of course, you can call them whatever you'd like. And if I wanted to access a Google Classroom for student A, then I would just switch to profile one, as I called it, and look here, we're signed in as student A. And that's all there is to it. So now when you wanna use Chrome as student A, you just use that Chrome profile and the same thing with student Y. And then you keep all your data separate and there's never the issue of, do I have access to this file? Because you just use one Chrome profile for accessing everything that has to do with that person's information. I hope this helped. If you have any questions from this video or any suggestions for a future topic, please leave a comment below and I will certainly get back to you. And that's all for today. Take care.